What's good, everybody, and welcome back to my channel, Smoking and Grilling with me, AB. Now, that's right, you seen the thumbnail, and I know your mouth should be watering right now. Listen, I'm getting ready to show you guys just how easy it is to make. You know what? This is Nashville's hot chicken, and not just that, we're gonna make them in sliders. So, listen, these are gonna be some bite size, but these are gonna be like some huge bite size, you know, sliders, right? You know what? Super easy to make. Uh, you know, slider buns are kind of small. I'm gonna be using King's Hawaiian bread, you know, for the uh, for my bun. And I got a little trick for you about this mayonnaise. Hey, I'm finna send this right over the top. So, I don't wanna over talk it. I'm just gonna go show you. It's one thing, hey, let me just say it like this. Look, it's first thing we gotta do is, we gotta get our chicken, we gotta cut it down, we gotta make our marinade, cause we gotta go in the refrigerator for four hours. So, let's get that started. All right. Look, you wanna get yourself a bowl big enough for all of the uh, chicken that you're gonna be making, right? So right here, I got four cups of buttermilk. Go ahead and just put this in here. This part is real easy. You don't want to have enough bu uh, buttermilk to make sure that you can submerge all of your, you know, your chicken, right? Now, here it is. This is a half a cup of hot sauce. I'm gonna say this. You guys can use the hot sauce that you like. That's you know that 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 you prefer for your palate. That makes a difference. You know what I mean? Uh, but this right here, this was actually Louisiana hot sauce right here. Now you want to get yourself a whisk. And just whisk it together, you know, just mix it together. This is where we're gonna soak that chicken in. Remember, we're gonna put it in the refrigerator for a minimum of four hours. Four hours work, if you guys can remember. I mean, if you plan, you can do it overnight. That's even better, but four hours get you the results that you're looking for. That's what we got right there, right? I'm gonna set this to the side. Now we're gonna get our chicken. I've already had my chicken soaking and I put it in uh, water. I put it in water and a little bit of uh, lemon juice. You know what I mean? I got it clean. So listen, I'm finna pat it dry and we getting ready to cut it down to the pieces that we gonna need. Okay, so I got my chicken ready, right? So what I'm gonna get ready to do is do, do a little trimming. But you know what, before I do that, look, I gotta show you guys this right here. You guys been asking me for the information. You've been asking me, you know, what's going on with the knife. I kinda like held it back. Now you see why. You see that right there? I got my signature on it, listen. This is my first signature series eight inch Damascus chef knife. You know what, this right here, and I'm gonna tell you what drawn me to it in the very beginning, look at this handle right here. This right here is what was fired to me. Check this out. I'm gonna put all the information down in the description box below and it'll be pinned in the number one comment. Listen, get your signature series smoking and grilling with AB. Hey, what it do folks? Hey, so with that being said, I'm gonna just show you, you know, this is what you guys gonna be seeing me use from here on out. So right now, what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna go ahead and just do some trimming. Are you patted this dry? You know what I mean? Uh, like, you know, when you do a breast, you can see how it comes with like a little fat. I don't care where you get your meat from, you're gonna get that. Now, we doing sliders, right? So we'll just cut this off. I mean, this is good chicken. I could have just cut the fat off, you know what I mean? But I'm gonna just make that trim like that. And the reason being, cause listen, they're gonna be, they gotta go on something small. So when you put them on something, uh, these small buns, I want them to be like just the right size. And I don't want all that extra. So this right here, this is okay. Now, when you're dealing with a chicken breast, you know you got this part up here that's like super thick, right? And this other part down here will be a little thinner. Now you can get a meat, a meat mallet, you know what I mean? And hit it down and all of that kind of stuff. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna trim it. So I'm gonna take this bulk part right here and I'm just gonna make one slice right here. Hey, you can see right here, this right here, I've been using it, haven't sharpened it yet. And it's been holding the edge like for like the last month. I haven't sharp, sharpened it at all. And you guys know I cook quite often. Now, look at the thickness of this right here, right? So what I'm gonna do is set this over here. I'm gonna take it and what I wanna do is I just wanna cut some of this thickness out. So we are gonna cut it down like this. Cause remember we making sliders, right? So we got it cut just like that. Now, I'm gonna cut this off. I'm gonna get a bun. And then we, what we gonna do is I'm gonna get a bun and then we're gonna see that this is actually like a nice size right here. You know what, I'm gonna leave it like that. I like this, they similar in thickness. Let's go ahead and leave it like that. Let's just go ahead and trim this up right here. Remember we got our marinade, right? Our buttermilk and hot sauce. So let's just go ahead and put these in there. I'm gonna go ahead and cut up the rest of my, uh, my chicken. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna cover this and then we're gonna put it in the uh, refrigerator for four hours. All my chicken's been cut. I got it inside of my marinade. What I'm getting ready to do is put it in the refrigerator. Remember, four hours, folks. Here it is. And look, if you look at this right here, you can see that I am not the best at putting saran wrap on anything. Look at all these lines right here. So with that being said, let me get in this refrigerator and let's get this going. Okay, 
You can see, look, it's been four hours. I took this out the refrigerator just now, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and just vent this a little bit. I'm gonna set this off to the side because what I want this to do is I want this to sit and get to at least 15 minutes so it can start coming up to like room temperature. So I'm gonna set this out of my way and now we get ready to get our flour together. Now, I hope you guys like the way I did it this way. Listen, this is all purpose flour, that's the base, right? This is gonna be our seasoned flour. And then right here in the middle, you can see, I hope you guys can see it, that right there, that's kosher salt. And then I got the rest of my ingredients right here. I put them like this just so you guys can see them, right? Now, don't forget, down in the description box below this video will be the full ingredient list, you know, broke down by each section. So this will be called seasoned flour, and we go from there. Now, go ahead and get yourself a whisk or use a fork and just go ahead and mix your flour, you know, with all of the rest of your ingredients. Or you can do it old school, get yourself a paper bag and get down with that shake and bake. This is my wet, right? I'm not gonna double dip this. You guys can if you want to, but for me, I'm coming out of this. I'm gonna shake, then I'm gonna add to my flour. I'm gonna press both sides, shake it, and then I'm gonna put it here on my cooling rack. Okay, so here it is in action, right? You gotta have two hands, obviously. Look, one hand is gonna be your wet hand. That's what you're gonna come out of your wet batter with, right? You're gonna take that, then you're gonna use that dry hand, and then what you're gonna do is just put some, you know, now this is if you're doing it the way I'm doing it right here, because I like to do the, the press method, right? So I take my dry hand, I put it in my flour, and I press it. You guys can see that right there. Look, just press it. That way when it spreads, you know, when it spreads, whatever opens up, it just spreads and gets some of that flour, you know, inside of each nook and cranny. Super easy. Now, put that on there and look, I'm gonna do it one more time so you guys can see. You just wanna get off as much of the uh, buttermilk and hot sauce mixture as you can. Then what you do is you just go ahead, add some more flour, and yada, yada, yada. Hey, listen, it's self-explanatory. Hey, I know some of y'all gonna say, hey, why you didn't get that bag? But this is the time. If you wanna do the shake and bake, go ahead and do your thing. Now, once you put it on your cooling rack, you know what I mean? You just sit it here. You're just gonna let them, listen, the objective is for them to, you know, sit there, anything that uh, falls off, that's good too. But you want them to be, most of all, you want them to be at room temperature when you put them in, uh, in that hot oil. Now. You see right there, I got a candy. That's a candy thermometer. That's real That's real important. I know some of you guys have been, uh, you know what, frying for like for years. Everybody know how hot, but listen, we gonna go to 350 degrees and we gonna maintain that. And you're gonna need one of those instant read thermometers so that you can go ahead and measure that internal temp because we wanna have 350 degrees. All right, so we up to temp. I'm gonna just lay this and I'm gonna lay it away from myself, right? Cause you don't want to, you know, no splash. So I'm getting the pieces that I think is gonna look really, really nice, you know, on that, on that slider bun. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and temp these. This one's ready and perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and just put it on my cooling rack. Now, again, listen, you wanna let them drip, you know, get some of the oil off. And when you put them on that pan, you'll see that when you put them on this cooling rack right here, you'll see some of that excess of, uh, of oil, you know, coming off of. And then after that, all you gotta do is, this part really like a self-explanatory, you just wanna cook the rest of your chicken, you know? Now listen, I only put three in here because I don't like them to touch, right? Because when they touch, they kind of like cook together. So keep them separated. Okay, so look, just all the pieces are done, right? I'm getting ready to stick these in the oven, you know, so they'll stay warm. I'll set it for like 200 degrees just to keep them going, right? Now it's time to make the sauce. But I just want you guys to take a look at this. Remember, I got them on a wire rack, and if I lift it up like this, you can see, look down there, you can see where it's starting to, you know, drain. That's what you want, because you want it to stay crispy. Now, let me get these in the oven. Let's go ahead and get some of this hot grease, and let's go ahead and make this sauce. Now, now it's time to make the magic. Listen, this is gonna end up being our Nashville hot sauce, right? So we're gonna take the rest of these ingredients, right? And we just gonna put them in a bowl. Make sure you got a bowl that's gonna be able to take some heat. Cause if you look over there to the left, you'll see that I got that half a cup, you know, at the ready, right? That serves a purpose. Cause this is what we are gonna do. We are gonna take some of that hot grease that we finished, you know, frying our chicken with. We are gonna add that to the dry ingredients right here. And then we are gonna get a whisk and then we are gonna whisk it together. And you can see it's hot, cause look, check it out. You see it's starting to cook inside of my bowl. Look, get yourself, you know, just a whisk. And then look at the texture. You can look at the color and look at that right there. That right there is what we getting ready to coat that chicken with. Now, 
I'm using one of these silicone, you know, brushes right here. Not quite the best apparatus, you know, to be doing this. More so using a, uh, a paintbrush style, you know, brush would be better. But anyway, you want to coat on both sides. After you finish this side, obviously you flip them over and do the same thing. Now here's where we gonna level up right here. You see this gut gar uh, excuse me, this garlic butter? Listen, this is made by Sweet Smoky Joe's. Now listen, this is like a little, I'm giving you guys a preview because I got something for you. But now you know, anytime you got mayo, you can go ahead and add yourself a couple of teaspoons to that and that makes a spread like no one's business. So get you a whisk, whisk that together and that right there is a true secret sauce right there. Okay, so obviously, you know, I toasted these, right? Nothing like having a toasted, you know, King's Hawaiian, you know, roll, right? So that's what these are right here. Now, you just saw me mix this up. I just gave you guys like a real, a real secret of mine. You know, when you come over and you eat some mayo from me, it probably got this in it, as you know, like a certain kind of kick. Now I'm just gonna coat this bottom right here. You're gonna wanna have some on here. You know what I mean? So I'll do it like that. We'll get some more. And we'll do just like you see here. Hey, I recommend you guys go by and get you some of this. You know, pick you some up, order it. You know what I mean? Uh, this is gonna level any of your mayo dishes up right there. Let me wipe my hands and then we finna add this chicken. Now, you know what? This is the best part right here, y'all. Listen, now we put our chicken, we put that on top, right? This is the assembly, this is the plating. This is like the final step right here. So once you got them on top, go ahead and grab yourself a couple of pickles, put them on there also, and then you wanna put some more of that, you know, some of that secret sauce, you know, on that uh, on that top bun and just go ahead and add it and just leave it like that. Now, you can see that right there. Listen, you can see that that's gonna be a little bit on the hot side. Okay, so here you go, you see it, you know, assembled. Now you can see I cut my pieces, my chicken a little big, right? It depends on how big your buns are. By me using King's Hawaiian, you know, buns, you know, these little slider rolls that they make, you know what, they're gonna be a little small, but I can tell you this, it's gonna be good. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab it. You know what I mean? Uh, hey, here it is. Hey, look, and then I got that infamous, you know, Kool-Aid, right? Cause I'm gonna need it. If you guys have been watching me for a minute, you know that uh, I'm a lightweight when it comes to this little heat. This right here got the heat, so let's get in. Mm. And here comes the heat. Oh man. Oh, oh. oh man. The chicken was cooked just right. Hey, marinating it. And then if you guys seen, you know, like when I did my Popeye's uh, chicken sandwich, you saw I added a little pickle juice to it too. You can do the same thing with this here. It's the wine roll. Then you're gonna taste that, you know, that, that mayo with that butter garlic. Oh man, that right there, that's awesome. Then the texture and the crunch, you know, from the bread and it's on the uh on your chicken, along with that pickle. Whew! Listen, the heat, I feel it. Back of my throat, you know what I mean? Then it seemed like it just rolled forward. And I feel it, I actually feel it right here and right here. So you guys are like that spicy. You know, them spicy meals and stuff like that, like that spicy chicken, this is it right here. Now, y'all know, got that infamous. I'm ready to tear into this one. So, I want you guys to tell me what you think about this right here. You know what, super easy to make. It look like a lot, but it's not. And for all you guys that was out there, you know, wanting to know about that knife, the knife is out, you have seen it, you got a chance to see it in action. All of the information about the knife will be down in the description box below. You know what I mean? I'm gonna pin everything in the number one comment and then we are gonna move forward. Let me know what you guys think about it. Tell me what you think about that handle though. That handle real, folks. Hey, so with that being said, listen, if you're new to my channel, let me take this time to say, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like it and subscribe to it and tell everybody out there, there's a channel out here that's producing that heat. And I literally had heat. That's why I'm rushing y'all and taking the mystery out of cooking. So with that being said, I just want to say thank you, you know, to everybody. Thanks for the subscriptions, the likes, and everything you guys have for me. And I'm out of here. Peace.